bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Riot here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Memorial Freeze video. And today we are kicking off the team building 101 series with yours truly where I go over your accounts and boxes and all the units you have and build you the best possible war games and record buster team. Now, this series is the start, right? It's a brand new start. There's going to be a lot of rough patches in terms of like the editing style and stuff like that. So what I want you guys to do in the comment section down below is let me know ways I can probably improve this series and stuff like that. And one more thing to note is that today we're only going to be taking a look at four people's accounts. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because if I do any more than that, the video will be far too long. I'm expecting each account to take like five to ten minutes, basically, in terms of preparing and, uh, you know, actually having a look through all the uh, units that you, they have, as well as building them a team, basically. So, of course, it's going to be a bit of a long process to look at each person's account. But that being said, we will be doing this as a weekly series. So this week we'll be looking at four people, uh, four people's accounts. Then next week we will look at another four accounts and then so on and so forth. So if you guys are all okay with that and you're down to see more content like this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more Don Machi content. And of course, leave a comment down below with your accounts under this community tab if you want to be a part of this series. Now, the first person we're going to be taking a look at and we're going to see what account they have is I randomly just picked up a, a couple of people's accounts. So the first person we're looking at is Sackpex. We're going to look at their account and see what they have in store for us. So let's switch over to their Imgur account right now. So we are here with Sackpex's Imgur link and his account in front of us. So let's see what he has in store for us. I'm very interested to see what set of uh, units he has and everything. Um, taking a look at it right now, if we scroll through the adventurer side first and foremost, then we'll look at the assist and bond section, right? Um, so this is his box of adventures right now. It seems like it's very... Uh, very new very very fresh very very new um there are some older units though for example argonaut and crozo are here right for example we have uh um let me see toka as well yeah i just saw toka and kurumi as well so the, uh, he seems like a player who has logged in regularly but has never really continuously played right so this is something that is very evident in like a lot of players very casual players right they come into the game, they play the story most likely, and then probably leave for a couple of weeks, maybe two, three weeks, and then come back to the game when something big is happening, and so on and so forth. I don't know, but that's how I assume this account has been generated, basically, right? But it has some decent units. For example, you have the Ryu, the new Hero Festa Ryu. You've MLB'd the new Wealth, which is very interesting. It's not something I would necessarily have recommended. But, I mean, hey, if you're a Wealth fan, that's all fine and all good, man. Like, I, I've, I've always said this, and this is something I will mention in just generally for future Team Building 101 videos as well. Is if you've summoned for a unit that you really, really like. Like, say, for example, you really like... You know all ganeshas for example right and you only summon for ganeshas and you man you try and mlb them that's fine play the way you like to play don't try and get uh you know pressurized by me or anybody else in the comment section or anywhere else because it's not worth it trust me have fun with the game summon for what you like more so than anything else okay that's all that matters all right Okay, so let's have a, a continuous look on everything else. So this is the team he's rocking for story, which is absolutely fine. I think this team will be absolutely a-okay for story. Um, some changes I would probably make is probably bring in an STR assist, of course, instead of this Toka. Um, outside of that, this looks like a good team for story clears, for sure. Let's have a look at the assist and bonds, and maybe we can determine some more uh, from there. So yeah, you have STR assist in the form of this Hestia and stuff like that. So the way you want to team build, right? The way team building works is is whenever it comes to certain assists that are indexed to strength or indexed to magic you want to, you want them to be on the physical attacker or magic attacker respectively so any any assist that is indexed to strength goes on a strength based unit any you know magic based uh, assist goes on a magic adventurer right so you want to do something like that now generally when it's a, a agility dexterity or endurance that's very much more free to be quite honest you can put anything on anybody but whenever it's a strength based assist or a magic based assist you want to put them on strength based adventures or magic based adventures respectively that's the way it works usually 
So, in terms of assists, you have some good uh, assists, to be honest. You have Chloe, you have the new Anya, who gives two times magic nulls, which is really, really good. It'll help you in war games and Telskura uh, Abyss as well, right? When you're knowing you're going up against magic-based teams, you can take in Anya. If you're facing up against, you know, uh, physical-based teams, you can take in Chloe. You also have a two good assists in the form of this Hestia as well as this Hestia at the very bottom. So, um, the blue hooded Hestia, the third one from the top row the third on the top row and the third unit in the second row um both are very good options for war games and single target uh, uh single target uh sort of comp combats uh combat events respectively um so two good assists there let's look at the assists and stuff so you have an argonaut bond which is kind of useless because you already have argonaut mlb thanks to their uh, thanks to the starter gift that they give Dea Saint Bond, okay, that's okay, doesn't matter, Roaring Gale Bond, no Berserk Bond, of course, that's uh, Kageya uh, and uh, Lily, um, Faithful Mage Bond, no, nothing too crazy there, Chain Rain Bond, so you did play quite heavily during the Australia Record stuff, you obviously have the new Ryu for free, um, the Laurel Agent Bond, that's really good, okay, that's a huge dub, um, Dark Grin Bond, so Wiene is plus one as well, and Anya is plus one as well, okay, okay, and you managed to MLB Wolf. Alright, this is very interesting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my uh, my team or my party screen basically. And this is the way I want you to play. Um, and this is the team I've built for you basically. So this is a Record Buster team that I built basically. And that Haruhime at the end, I know you don't have her. But if you continue with story and continue progressing through story, you will get her inevitably. And she will be an in invaluable asset to you until you get the new Haruhime, which is um, this one right here. Uh, where is she? Until you get this Haruhime, that Haruhime will have to suffice for you. But you can get her for free through doing story. So this is the team I've built for you. And the idea is that this is a Record Buster team, which is very cohesive. So the wealth I have here is supposed to be the new wealth that you have. I don't have that wealth, so I couldn't put him in. So the new wealth that you have right here, right? So let me go back to this screen over here. Um, this plus two, uh, plus five wealth you have here on your second slot, that is the one that I, I'm, I don't have. So I'm going to be showing you this wealth instead. I want you to build something like this. The assists are as follows. The uh, single target damage dealing Hestia, so this one in particular, will be amazing for you in terms of Record Buster because it'll increase your single target damage, right? Which is going to be completely handy when you're using your three units and you're using your single target attacks. The, uh, Dem uh, the D Demeter will help you with getting a Magic Rest debuff on the enemy as well, which will come in handy, increasing also your own critical rate and decreasing the opponent's critical rate, thereby allowing you to survive those hits a little bit better. Um, you also have this Aina, which, well, technically is supposed to be a replacement uh, because I don't have the Aina you do, but there is an Aina on your uh, assist uh, section. If we go up here, right? Um, the Aina that's left of Freya. I don't know if you guys can see my cursor. Hopefully you guys can. But the Aina that's left of this Freya on the second row here, right? If you look, this is the first row, the top row with Vene, Welp, Hestia, and so on and so forth. The second row that has Hestia, Loki, Aina, Aina, Freya. The second uh, Aina. That Aina can give Fire Res down, Earth Res down, and a couple of other things. If we have a look at it in-game as well, right? Um, if I were to show you guys uh, my screen right here, um, and we go over to the album, right? Um, that Aina is actually pretty handy because, of course, you're going to be rocking all Fire units, right? So having a Fire uh, Res down assist will come in handy. So if you go down here, this is the Aina that I'm talking about, and, and, and Sconed Elf. Earth res down, fire res down, counter rate down from opponents, as well as allies critical rate and penetration rub. Comes in very, very much handy, especially if you want to try and get those extra powerful hits as well through critical rates and penetration damage. So definitely must have there. Now, let's go back to the party again and show you what exactly you're doing. Argonaut and Crozo work extremely well together. While their buffs were not as desirable as we wanted them to be, they're still very decent units and they'll work together extremely well with what they're capable of doing. Laurel Agent Daphne is here to basically be a sacrificial unit. Now, for those of you who don't know what sacrificial units are, if you go, you can go back to my blacksmithing video and stuff like that, where I go into much more detail as to how re revolving anklets work and stuff like that. You can watch one of my record buster videos as well. I go into detail about that. But what you want to do with these two units, right, the bell and the um, the bell and the Daphne, is you want to use certain abilities and then just get on out of there, basically. So, for example, here with this, um, you know, this uh, Aura Bell, you want to basically use a second skill, Aspro Phantasma, 
which will reduce the opponent's strength, magic, and emres. And then you can hightail it out of there. Bring in this Daphne who will increase uh, or decrease the opponent's P res as well as their single target damage received uh, um, amount. So they'll take more damage from single target attacks as well from this Daphne. And then you want to bring in Horihime after that. So that's the way this team works. These are the assists that you will be uh, taking into. Of course, I've got them at plus five and various amounts. You'll have them at different amounts. But the idea is to run a team like this. Be very cohesive. Play to the unit strengths, of course. Use their skills. This unit you don't even have, so you're going to have to uh, figure that out with that wealth. But ideally, you want to obviously go for skill 1 into skill 2 and then skill 3 again and again and again so that you can uh, keep attacking, basically, and keep taking advantage of that unit. Now, um, so yeah, that's what I would say about your team, in all honesty. I think you've got a good, solid team for Record Buster. Now, let's talk about War Games. Now, you could take this team into War Games and be absolutely fine with it. But I have some things that I feel like you could do a little bit better. Now, one more thing I want to mention as well is I don't know where you're at in terms of the Hero Festa banner, to be quite honest, right? I, I think the Hero Festa banner is something you should probably consider maxing out. And this is applicable to all players. If you haven't maxed your uh, Hero Festa banner out, do it. 100%. Um, I would have probably suggested you do that before you, uh, you know, MLB'd your wealth. But uh, that's fine. You can kind of... Uh, obviously MLB your wealth and now you can focus on uh you know maxing out the hero festa banner because if you can get Elise in all honesty if you can get the fire Elise and you get a lot of her in the next 10 steps a lot of things will change you'll want to bring in Elise into this composition as well this record buster composition furthermore you'll actually bring her into this composition as well because what she will do is effectively you'll replace the Ryu for the Elise and you'll deal a lot of more a lot of damage basically so this is the team I've built for you for War Games. Of course, uh, the Anya that's supposed to be here is the Null Magic Times 2 Anya, the one you have an extra bond for, right? That's the one you want to bring in here. But in terms of your other assists and stuff, this is what I've built for you. I focused on trying to make you a little bit safer in terms of uh, reducing the damage received and everything. I brought in this Anya because she reduces AOE damage received as well as and gives you P res. So against uh, sort of uh, you know physical attackers, you'll be a little bit safer. This Hestia has uh, inherent uh, resist to every element in the game pretty much so you will be fine in that regards and then of course chloe is here to give you the null physical attack of course mine's the times two yours will be at plus uh times one because yours is plus zero this hestia is brought along because she gives damage received attack type all targets 15 percent on foes so you'll deal more damage and agility which is extremely important in war games especially right uh, you have to remember when it comes to war games, right? You want to make sure that your agility is as high as possible or and you debuff your enemy as much as possible. Hence why we're bringing this bell and Ryu so that you can use their first skill, right? Where they are able to remove agility buffs at the end of the turn. And then of course you have your other units like this uh, nocturnal elf Ryu who will be giving you an amazing amount of um, null P attacks and M attacks. So yeah, try and focus in on using these units. Um, like I said, focus on trying to summon for the Hero Festa banner. If possible, try and get that Elise. Obviously, if you don't get it and you get more Ryu's, that's absolutely fine because Ryu is a monster in her own right. But the idea is you want to use a team like this and you want to, uh, for this, this is for War Games, this is for Record Buster. So yeah, hopefully the, I could help you there with this team. Let's move on to the next individual and see what account they have in store for us. All right, we're going to take a look at Bilal's account next and let's see what he has in store for us. I'm very curious to see how we're going to probably see the differences between account to account from here on out. Now, this account definitely seems a lot more filled in comparison to the previous account already by the number of plus fives we're already seeing here on screen. So a lot of water units I'm already noticing that uh, Argonaut and Crozo still plus five, Elise plus five as well. It seems like he's been playing for a long time, but his luck has been all over the place. I mean, I can see the two Hero Festa units as well, uh, with Ryu and Elise both at plus two. I don't know if we've completed the Hero Festa banner yet or not, but both plus two. Okay, very interesting. This is something that I, I would also like to see in future videos, maybe and maybe you guys can re-amend it for future videos, but um, seeing where your Hero Festa steps are or wherever you're, you are at in the current banner will also help me out a lot because then I'll know like, oh, you need to still finish up the Hero Festa step, go and finish that off and then come back and let me know what you're rocking, right? Um, but, uh, plus two on both Hero Festa units, Vesta plus one, Epimetheus plus one, okay, uh, Helga plus one, interesting, alright, alright, so you've got a lot of units here, 
definitely a lot of units but there are a lot of them are low lb which is very unfortunate and very concerning for sure these can be kind of yeah we can just skim through these okay some units we know that are going to be getting buffs in the next month as well with like uh, this rewrite over here um in the third row on this image right so we'll have to take a look at that of course so let's keep going um so yeah we're here on the assist now okay Assist wise, you're not pretty bad off actually now that I'm looking at it. You've got a couple of good assists. You've got Chloe at plus four, provided you have some prism bonds. I mean, that pl an easy plus one to plus five, that would be really good potentially. Orna is very solid. He's still, um, Aphrodite is phenomenal, of course. If you don't have the fifth anniversary Ryulu, she's still really solid in her own right. Um, so you have some good assists right here. Ana's there are Elpis or Artemis really really good there okay chigusa as well here very cool so you've got some good assists to work with okay okay and then we have your bonds here all right so these you have a lot of older unit bonds here so we can kind of ignore those for now let's move down to a more 2020 era sort of uh, er, uh, uh edition okay so now we can look start looking from here plus one on Lafia and uh, uh, Philvis both very nice uh, plus three on that uh, Chigusa who's really not that bad by the way I would probably consider leveling her up for potentially um, certain bits of content for now I would probably say it's okay even this uh, bell is not bad at all probably recommend uh, ML being uh, or not ML being but like getting these two a little bit higher in terms of their limit breaks because they could be some decent option for war games I won't recommend them right now but if you can level them up and everything, we could make some uh, make a good water team potentially for you in the future. Um, so some good fire units here with the wealth and the Riveria, plus one, plus one each. Um, okay, okay. So you've got some good units here. We can see that you have some uh, good options here. Um, lid as well. Okay. Very nice. All right. I think we can work with this. You've got three prism assist bonds. All right. So you don't have any uh, adventure prism bonds. That's fine. Um, you've got 2,100 gnome tickets. You probably should save that. I would recommend saving that. Don't spend it right now because we know the anniversary is like three, four months away pretty much. It's in June. So you might want to save up that for then, four months away. And this is the team you're currently rocking, which isn't not, which isn't bad at all. In all honesty, this is not bad or whatsoever. Um... So let's have a look at what we can build for you in just a second. All right, well, we are on my team screen now so that we can see what you can build. And I think for Record Buster, it was a pretty simple affair. The water team is the way to go in all honesty. I think this is a, a, a fantastic team. You have both Mikoto and Wealth at plus five. Um, of course, the third option was a little bit trickier because if you take a look at your uh, own box, right, for a split second, um, I couldn't really find a good third single target option for the water team you could run this Ryu, but personally not the best option here same with this lafia in all honesty so i thought of looking a little bit deeper but i couldn't really find anything i would say the well bell is still the best way to go and he'll still do his he'll hold his own he'll he'll truly hold his own and i recommend probably definitely using him for sure in terms of the sacrificial units, I've gone for Lene and Daphne once again. Lene for the SA gate charge and everything. She'll be a fantastic option that side. And then Daphne, of course, for the P res down as well as the single target damage received up, of course. And then Haruhime is at the rear once again to basically support the team. Of course, if you have the new Haruhime, if you had her, I would probably use the new Haruhime instead of her. In terms of the assists, I've tried to focus majorly on getting your water res and water damage up as much as possible. Hence why we're using using the Ducky Hestia, uh, as well as this Hestia in particular, the Carnival Goddess Hestia, both of which increase, uh, well, decrease water res and increase water damage respectively. And then I've dropped, uh, chucked in Ares and uh, Demeter, primarily for the P res and M res decrease, of course, because you're running a sort of like hybrid setup, right, with um, Bell and Mikoto and Wealth all being of different types, Bell and Wealth being physical and Mikoto being uh, magic, of course. In terms of the assist uh, on uh, Lene and and uh, Haruhime, of course, Lina has gone for Ali, which is SA Gate Charge, as well as the MP Regen as well, which will come in handy in Record Buster. And of course, we have Haruhime having Kit Felice, which is, of course, the big uh, 
basically the big unit you need in record buster for single target damage increase basically her or the osfi from the stray record part 2 banner but this kit felice for you is plus four so i've recommended this unit so this is the team you should take into record buster in my personal opinion will deal a lot of damage assuming there's no water res this time around of course because finn has water res you might notice that there will be a little bit of a challenge in getting a good score but generally speaking i was looking through your box and i'm just i was just a little bit unsure of which direction to go in because i didn't feel like you had that many options when it came to um single target options for record buster right that was cohesive that worked well together and would have dealt a lot of damage um you could also choose this haruhime as well right here right instead of lina if you want to go for this haruhime as well that's absolutely fine i mean i can pull it up and show you guys which haruhime i'm talking about but let's say if you want to replace this lina with haruhime you can absolutely do that that's also an option as well she'll be a fantastic option to uh, in all honesty as well gives you the damage received reduction as well which will help you out in surviving if you're struggling with that um but yeah generally speaking i would go for Lina primarily just because of course she gives uh you know the additional uh, boosts as well to your um critical rate and penetration rate if i recall correctly i think it was right yeah crown rate critical and penetration rate which comes in handy of course so that's something to consider for sure when it comes to your record buster team um next up we will take a look at your war games team and now this was a lot more trickier because while you had a lot of uh you know I, I, you had a cohesive single target team it was a little bit trickier to identify what i could build with your war games team to be quite honest because you had a lot of options that are good with certain other units but you don't have those certain other units to work them with um for example bell i would chuck in the aisha and probably the uh the other bell that i talked about at the bottom of your uh, at the bottom with the bonds right i would say that bell as well would go really well together you could get some really good damage out of that the water rush team is still not a bad option to be quite honest but you need to level up that bell right uh if we go down here where is he where is he uh is he up here yeah, he's probably up here. One second. Um, yeah, here he is. Sword Unleashed Bell. If you can level him up and get him up, he will probably be a good option for you as well in War Games. But right now, looking at what you have, um, I've built this team as of right now. It's not perfect by any means of the imagination. It's really not. I think you can probably do better than this, but potentially over time and again assuming you can get your hero fest uh summons in assuming you still have some left over i'm not gonna uh, uh make that assumption that you've uh not finished it i'm gonna assume you finished it and you've come out with plus two and plus two this is probably the best team you can build as of as of this moment uh you want to try and get as many attacks off as much as possible you're going for a sort of physical rush team here all you're doing is just attacking, 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 attacking. That's it. There's no halting there. Um, Nocturnal Elf Ryu is there to help you out with, of course, surviving, getting you that null physical and magic times too, of course. So you need her in the first slot. And then the back line, I just threw in Argonaut and Crozo because they seem to be the best cohesive options to come in from the back, to be quite honest. In terms of assists, I've tried to focus majorly on trying to go a little bit defensive, right? Um, so it would help you out the best way possible. Now, in terms of your assists, Assists. i'm not gonna lie this also was a little bit of a struggle when it came to war games assist to be quite honest i wasn't um too excited about trying to figure out what to build here but yeah like this rulu for example while she can give foes damage received 15 percent and minus 30 percent guard rate it's a little bit dated at this point in time but it's still a good option for sure if you can get counters off and everything it'll come in handy right um but yeah in terms of your assist options i was trying to look through it and i was just trying to figure out what would be the best options and in all honesty yeah it, it has to be something along the lines of what i showed just a second ago you want the orna you want the Ryulu, you want aphrodite of course like i said aphrodite is still a great great option to this day um of course if you don't have the fifth anniversary Ryulu, chloe of course we need her for the null physical right and then from the back line i've added more nulls basically so chigusa with the null physicals again and then astray with the null physical and magical as well so that the idea is to just try and go for a lot of protection basically in terms of you know ensuring that you're gonna survive and deal a little bit of damage and then maybe worst case scenario if you lose your units you lose your units that's kind of it it's uh it's an all or nothing sort of gamble with this team basically so yeah that's this team let's move on to the next account and let's see what we have in store for us so hopefully you enjoyed and uh hopefully you can take into account some of the recommendations i've made but yeah for more for the most part i think you've got a really good record buster team just war games can be a little bit better i think just a teeny tiny bit more cohesiveness would would have been amazing here but 
Th that's how it, the cookie crumbles. I mean, in the future, you will be able to make a more cohesive team. Let's move on to the next account, shall we? All right, the next account we're going to be taking a look at is ACE's account or Ace's account. And we can check out what he has in store for us. So he says, I'm still somewhat new to the game and all help is appreciated. I'm also not that good at making teams. It's okay. You're new to the game. That is bound to happen. It's absolutely fine. Um, so let's have a look, see what we are working with. So you have Lazar plus five, uh, Astraeus plus five, Finn plus five. Okay, good, good, good uh, plus fives here already. Plus three Bell, which is not bad. Plus one Alize. Okay, now one thing I will already say here and something for players to note is I would not recommend you uh, max hero ascending any unit that's not plus three or above. Even then I would be a little bit hesitant and saying, oh, you should hero ascend, you know, plus three and above because hero light is a very scarce resource, right? And it's something that I would highly recommend uh, not doing is, you know, just uh, chucking your hero light into units that are only plus one or plus two. While it's fine, you've done it now, it's all over, you can't get them back, it's okay. Um, for the future, I would probably advise saving them for primarily plus three or higher. That being said, it's okay. Again, like I said, it's fine. It, it, it happens um, and it's very early days, it's okay. So let's have a continue uh, continued look at the rest of this team. So Lazar, okay, you've got Haruhime, Christmas Haruhime, which is great. Um, you have the Ryu as well. Let me, I'm very curious to see where you are at in terms of the Hero Fest up because plus one and zero, Seems like you have a couple of steps left, but I'm gonna assume you've finished it still when I'm making this video. Um, ooh, ooh, you could make a good stall team already. Astraeus, uh, the old, uh, the new RD, Galmus, Andrew could make a good stall team here. Could make a could make a good stall team here. We'll talk about that in just a moment, but okay, okay. Um, you have Bell and Ryu, of course, that's good. You've got a good option of units, you've got a good selection of units, I will say that. For sure, it's very nice selection of units. Uh, obviously, I understand that it is a little bit tricky and uh, it's not easy, but I think initial look is good. It's a good start for the uh, uh, at least the adventure side. The assist side, let's have a look see. So, okay, this is a little bit weird, but okay, uh, I'm confused as to which one's plus five because there's a random SGR police that's plus five, and I'm like, what? Um, okay, that's very interesting. So, you have a uh, SGR police plus five, which is really good for like record buster and stuff. Um, you've got the new Erebus at plus one, which is unfortunate because he's not that great, unfortunately. Um, Finn, Alkitian, okay, okay. All right, I think we can make something with this. Let me just check through the assist bond section one second. Um, so let's go down here. Yeah, this, uh, this, were, this onwards will probably be helping us out a little bit better. Um, okay, let's load two more images and see what else he has in store for us. So Bravestone, he's got 30 Bravestone, wow. Wow, you've been getting a lot of Astraeuses, I assume, then. <laughs> okay, so this is the team he's rocking. This is a really good team. You probably are going to clear a majority of the story through this team, so that's absolutely fine. I don't think this is really something you should be uh, troubled about. I think for war, uh, for record bus, uh, not record bus, sorry, story mode and everything, this should clear a majority of content outside of, you know, the big baddies, the big bad boss fights like Hyakintos and stuff, right? Um, this team should be able to clear all of it. So let me get away for just a moment. Let's build you a team for War Games and Record Buster. And uh, I'll be right back and see what we can uh, talk about in terms of uh, what you can build. All right, to kickstart us off, we have the Record Buster team for my boy Ace. I think this is the best team you could probably make in all honesty, even though I know that your Finn is only plus zero, if I'm not mistaken, right? If you have a look here, yeah, he's only level one. And if I went down and checked, I don't think there is, well, I mean, plus one. It's still good enough, to be quite honest. I, I didn't even see this was plus one. Still, that, that's better than I thought, to be quite honest. But I would probably say going for a full light team, basically, here is the best option. Now, you might be wondering why have I put Bell and Ryu and Ryu in the first and fifth slots for the sacrificial units? Well, Bell, first and foremost, is here to basically give you the uh, heroic attention skill uh, and the buffs from it, basically, or the debuffs more so. So, you debuff the enemy's P res by 40%, increase the damage they receive by 30% from AoE and single target attacks, which helps your team out tremendously. And then, furthermore, you have Ryu right here, basically, also helping you out by reducing 
increasing the opponent's strength, magic, and agility as well, and in, well, increasing your own, helping you protect yourself just that teeny tiny bit more. Now, in terms of the assists, before we get into how you use this theme and whatnot, well, I mean, if you want to know how you use this theme, you can go check out one of the Record Buster videos I do. You know, I, I use a very similar theme to this. The only difference is I primarily use Fianna instead of Lazar, or I use, well, Wiene instead of Haruhime. But the core concept is very similar. In terms of assists, I went with Ali for the SA Gate Charge and MP Regen. Um, of course, Felice, you have plus five, is phenomenal for this Record Buster stages and uh, this specific team because you get that 25% strength as well as the counter rate, which is great. I went with this Alfred because I noticed you didn't have any other light res down units. So having this Alfred is actually not that bad of an option. Uh, you might want to interchange the assist depending on how you feel like it. Because of course Alfred being a free unit has lower stats in comparison to let's say, you know, a summonable unit. So that's something to bear in mind. Now I put in this Hestia as well as well. Tifana is supposed to be the plus three Raul you have. Because I don't have Raul, right? Uh, the Raul assist that you have plus three. I put these two here because they are help to sort of help you survive basically because of course Finn is going to be very frail in later difficulties especially difficulty six and seven he's practically not going to be able to survive because of course he's only plus one right so I put it uh, I put in these units because they're going to help you survive and help you last longer in those high difficulty fights once you want to try and get a higher score um outside of that you have Alkitian at the end bringing in the light damage bonus as well as uh you know anything else that she come uh, help out with you know in terms of stats and stuff like that for Haruhime right um the guard raid as well right so yeah this is your record buster team it's very straightforward like I said if you want to know how it works and how you use it Go check out one of my videos with the Record Buster team and you'll be able to get an understanding of how exactly it works. Once again, you ideally just want to make sure you know when the opponents are debuffing you or buffing you um, or they're buffing themselves up, I should say. And then you need to counter those moves, basically. That's the best way to put it. Now, in terms of war games, I decided to go a little bit different. Now, in my personal opinion, right, if I go back to your uh, screen, right, just to give me one second. There we go. Um, if you go back to your screen and we go down, right, I think this is probably the best war game team you have. Loki, not gonna lie, you've pretty much put in your best effort. I would probably say you could probably switch out Erebus for another assist, one of the ones that I showed, maybe uh, Felice, to be honest. Plus five Felice should be in that slot, probably, um, because I that Erebus is kind of useless in all honesty. But... I went for something a little bit different. I went with a stall team. Now, you might be wondering because you have plus five Astraeus, you have plus zero Ryu, um, your RD is also plus two just like mine, and Galmus is plus zero. So you might be uh, a bit hesitant in going into that stage, especially because you don't have the right uh, setup and everything. But trust me when I say this, Assault Team is very, very, very strong. And if you can build it properly, you give them the equips and everything, you give them the right uh, sort of armor pieces, the right uh, assists and stuff, I think you should be able to still win a lot of matches with this team. Um, of course, I think that team is better for PvE contents that you're doing in story mode and stuff like that. But this team, Loki, might be a better team for you for war games. Uh, again, I'm not sure how it would work, especially with the low limit breaks and your assists and stuff, right? For example, what I've done here is given you Mar Marie Hestia, the Christmas Hestia that we just got. Felice at plus five. And then this Allen is supposed to be the agility down Allen that you have. Um... Let me uh, pull up the website again and uh, show you which island I'm talking about. It's uh, this one. So this one right next to Ishtar and Uranos. Um, that's the island I want you to put on that uh, on that Galmas basically. But basically this team is supposed to uh, effectively hold out. The idea of a stall team, for those of you who don't know, is to ensure that you are taking very little damage basically on your main damage dealing units, which is in this situation going to be um, Astraeus and Ryu primarily. And then coming in from the back will be more supports. Now, unfortunately you don't have Nocturnal Elf Ryu. If you did, I would probably put Nocturnal Elf Ryu in the place of this Finn. For now, you'll have to rock this Finn along with the Raul in this slot. I've just put T in this situation or Tifana. And then uh, Haruhime will come in from the back with that Hestia who also has a lot of elemental resistances to help out with. So effectively what you're trying to do is kind of lock off your team and protect your team as much as possible. So yeah, those are the two teams I have recommended for you. Hopefully you can build it and hopefully it works for you. Um, again, like I said, some small niggling changes and tweaks can be made. Um, I think your war games team 
is a very interesting team and it and, and I think it can get better as well because you can summon for the RD next month as well. She's going to come back if you have some more steps left in the Hero Festa and you can get Ryu higher. I think this team will get you into King 1 very easily. At the very least, King 1. 100%. I genuinely do believe that. Uh, but yeah, let me know um, if there is any other questions you may have. I'll respond to them in the comment section down below. Now... Let's move on to the next account and see what they have in store for us and our final account for today's video. All right, we're taking a look at Tony Tiger 64's account next. Uh, he's given us the link, so let's see what he has got in store for us right here. He's got me in the top right corner. I respect that. Uh, shout outs to him for uh, keeping me on the screen at all times. So we're starting off with his gnome ticket. So his gnome uh, tickets are 970. I would say just save from here on out. Do not waste it on any sort of time limited unit or anything of that sort. Um, let's keep looking. So in terms of assists, he's got Siren Maiden Bond, which is really good because that's a 20% uh, uh, magic unit right there. He already has. We're starting off with the bonds, which is interesting. Plus one uh, Hero Festa Elise, plus one Anime Ryu, which is good as well. So let's have a look see now. So these are his assists, it seems like. I'm mixed in with adventures. Okay, so this is where things get tricky. And this is where I always recommend, you know, when you can filter it out if possible so filter assist and then filter adventures if possible um i've shown it in the video beforehand i'll show it again in this video but it's an easier way of doing things to be quite honest so okay uh we have a very interesting set of units so it's bottom to top basically so we can see what he has here um so he has plus four hero festa bell plus five astraeus um uh, interesting plus two rd plus two ryu plus zero uh, uh plus one alizé i should say interesting so this is a very fresh account it seems like he's just started out there's a lot of things to consider here and a lot of things to work with um okay okay um very interesting i i'm gonna be uh fascinated by this build in all honesty because there's actually not much to go off of but i think we can make something work from this in all honesty i genuinely believe we can get something to work from this so let me go away let me build a team for him and be right back now this was a lot more trickier than i was anticipating especially the record buster team was very much tricky tony i'm not gonna lie bro um but I managed to figure out something and hopefully this team can work for you for at least the time being until you can start building your account up a little bit more. Um, what I've gone for is a light team once again similar to the last one but with some differences if primarily in the form of Alfia in this team instead of uh, you know Lazar or Finn and Fianna's come in of course instead of those units. So when I was going through your account right I was just uh, trying to have a look see in terms of like what options we had right especially when it came to um, offensive options and obviously you did have uh, Fianna and Bell which are staples in you know the light record buster team but you didn't have Finn or Lazar as an alternative which made things a lot more trickier but we do have the uh we have we do have the lovely Althea here as well which i think especially with the buff that she might potentially get well i say potentially get definitely going to get in the next uh, month basically i think she will be a fantastic option for you in the long run um the only thing i would probably be a little bit concerned about with this team is probably the mp um i haven't been able to figure out like the way best way for you to get mp to be quite honest in all honesty and while there is a MP MP healer in one way with this Haruhime she only does it for herself so she's a little bit selfish in that regards so you might struggle a little a little bit with MP especially with Fianna but it's something that you're gonna have to just honestly deal with in all honesty because there's realistically no other options I tried scouring through your account you don't have an MP regen assist or a, a ally basically for example Lazar can MP heal there's a couple of other units that can MP heal nowadays as well um so unfortunately I mean this Ryu for example can also MP heal actually if I'm not mistaken yeah 10% MP heal on their single target skill um Again, very similar to the last team, I put the Bell in Ryu and Ryu as sacrificial units, of course. Um, now, there is also the alternative that you could put Ryu as a main unit to get that MP heal and stuff like that. You might lose out on damage, but if it means that you're going to be able to at least use your skills and stuff like that, 
it might be worth it. But in terms of assists, um, this ray is actually the ray that I was talking about, the one that gives 25% magic. I just put this one in uh, as an example. But the ray that you have is capable of giving a lot of magic, so that's why we put her in for the Althea, right? Um, Alfred is there for the light res down. Kid Felice, of course, single target damage up. Um, the last two assists, again, this is where I struggled a little bit, is your lack of assists. Unfortunately, you don't have that many assists, right? Um, that are capable of being extreme, extremely well and usable in Record Buster. So we had to try, you know, uh, draft in basically two assists that are capable of doing something at least for the team. Um, this uh, this uh, Aina will help in terms of P res and damage received reduction as well. Um, and then of course this Freya primarily helps the unit that she's on in terms of making sure that she's secure in terms of her strength, magic, and uh, P res and M res. This suffices reduces. P res so it'll help out with uh bell and fiana's damage so this is the record buster team very straightforward again um you might run into some struggles here and there but i think overall this is probably the best team that you could make for record buster to be quite honest right um the next team is a little bit better in my personal opinion i think this team will be a lot better for you um if you look at your box again right you have a lot of strong adventurers you have astraeus fiana bell um, you have, uh, you know, the Ryu, already so many units in here that are capable of being an extremely viable option for your team. What I've gone with is the three best units you have, in my personal opinion, the Fiana, Astraeus, and Bell. And I chucked in Bell and Ryu in there as well in order to basically give you that removal, uh, agility removal buff, basically. Um, or agility buff removal, I should say, more so than uh, agility removal buff. That doesn't make any sense. But... Bell and Ryu is there primarily to survive for just one turn and at the end of the turn slash down the opponent and give you that uh, remove their agility buffs because that's the idea you want to remove their agility buffs so allowing them to remove that through this Bell and Ryu is going to be vital um of course because of your assistance stuff this is the assist slots i've gone for primarily just focusing on nullifying the opponent you know you have Aina, you have Astraea, you have Chigusa in the back everything to just remove uh you know the uh remove well first and foremost nullify the physical and magic attacks of the enemy and then remove the buffs through uh you know chigusa as well as haruhime and wine in the back so the idea is to just try and basically nullify the enemy's movements effectively um astraeus bell and fiana should be the damage dealers in this situation i put ryu and alize in the back so that they can come up and sweep anything is that that is left over but yeah i think this is the team that you should probably go for and uh it was very interesting because like i said it wasn't actually uh, it's not really hard to explain what this t these teams do it's just that it was it took more time for me to build the team to be quite honest because there was just so much to consider and so much to cover and the fact that obviously you're lacking in some areas but uh, thriving in others like i genuinely believe you're thriving when it comes to the adventure side your assist side needs a lot more work but i think that'll happen over time assists are anyways hard to pull it's one of the reasons why i always say pull assist more so than adventures because they're much more valuable but yeah, let me know what you guys think of uh, the uh, teams that I've shown to all four of the accounts. Let me know how you guys would like to see this uh, format be developed in the future. Again, like I said, we will be uh, tackling, I should say, um, other players' accounts in the coming uh, weeks. Of course, um, there's still so many more players. We've only tackled four individuals. Now that we've done those four, you guys can let me know how would you guys like to see the editing and uh, the splicing of the videos and stuff like that. Maybe I can make some adjustments. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the concept. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.